Hello, this is a guide uh, for when you become a YouTube partner because a lot of uh, our subscribers I think are striving to become partnered with YouTube that way they can share in the revenue the money the money that's generated through the the viewing of your videos um, and I've had a lot of people ask me how to pimp out my profile layout or my channel layout to look any way I want or whatever and I work in fireworks whenever I'm making my backgrounds uh, for any social networks and so I'll show you if you're interested if you're not interested in uh, the enhancements you can get when you become a YouTube partner then this is not the video for you you can just click away and go watch something more interesting but if you're looking to become a YouTube partner and once you do become YouTube partner if you're looking to maximize your layout and get custom buttons up here you can see each one of these buttons is its own little entity and even if you're not a YouTube partner and have no interest in becoming one then you might find a few of my tactics for making my layout helpful in fireworks I'm gonna show how I export and everything like that okie dokie so let's say you are partnered and you have the branding options button available here when you click it and this is for the new beta layouts uh, when you click it you'll see a couple of different sections one tab is banner and image maps and the next one is tracking and redirects and the last one is video page branding video page branding video page branding is the one that's uh, where your videos play let's see let me show you wherever the videos play there's a little see where I have YouTube's hottest webmaster tutorials subscribe that little banner is custom and when it's clicked on it takes the user to your channel so they can subscribe to you and all that good stuff uh, but in the branding options that's let me pause this in the branding options that's one here in the video page branding you set that little one up but for the big banner and the one people are most interested in I think because I get the most people asking me about how to make this larger how to get more space in between where the channel top starts and how to get custom graphics up there and all that good stuff that's right here on the channel banner and then you have channel side column image which is this little guy right here and that goes to any URL you want to make it go to now all of these can be given image map code and I've only set up image map code so far on my top banner which is this one and the image map code is what allows me to place these independent buttons up here along with my custom graphics okay so I have my channel banner height set to 150 so it pushes down 150 pixels my channel starts my regular normal channel start is at 150 now and so that's what that does and what I have is a channel banner image that I uploaded that is I'll show you here in fireworks banner.png and it's a, a, a clear no background there's no canvas color and that's saved as a PNG and that's what I upload as a, let's see you can go to file export wizard continue the web exit and then go to PNG 32 it allows you to save it with no background no color clear totally opaque and then export and you save it where you want to and that's what you upload to YouTube right here channel banner just make it have no graphics at all just totally clear now once you have that established all you have to do is get your image map code ready and you can do that in fireworks I'm going to show you that right now and your custom background whatever your custom background is going to be laid out like and I'm gonna show you mine right now let's go into fireworks and here I have it's called new hotness png and this is the editable version of my channel graphics and uh, you can see if I make it a little smaller there's the whole thing that's the size of it it's uh, I think it's 1600 wide by a thousand high file export wizard this is how you export it out to be a nice small but quality file JPEG continue the web 
continue exit then go to JPEG maybe I always bring the JPEG quality up a little bit you can leave it right at 80 which is a good standard quality and it's around let's see if I can hit 80 again there 80 it's 59 kilobytes it's tiny it's great you can bring it all the way up to about 88 look at that 77 kilobytes and you press export and it looks nice and crispy you save it wherever you need to save it and that's what you upload as your uh, image background as your channel background so here's my channel background you can see when it uploads the channel just lays right on top wherever you want it to you can see in mine I have uh, a few nice custom things to make it things jump out you know my that text right there just jumps out a little bit because it has a little bit of depth set to it everything this has a little glowy effect and these little bars are just gradient lines gradiated shapes and uh, then I have the buttons in there and the buttons are directly in my channel background layout now to get the hot spots now when you upload it this is what you'll have you'll have this look but you won't have the click button functionality so all you gotta do to get that remember I said I had this clear thing this opaque thing here so what I did was I made a copy but on this copy has no background and everything I put hot spots and these hot spots and I'll show you how to put a hotspot right now you go here and this is in fireworks CS4 you go here to rectangle hotspot tool grab it draw whatever size you want and wherever it's going to be positioned where you where your buttons are in your layout you put it right there in that spot and then you go down here and you put the link where you want it to go online you want it to go to Google HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com alt is the alt message and you can put go to Google and then here in the target this uh, designates whether it's going to open in a new window or the window the self window the same window that's viewing in or a new window parent and top and that's how you make hotspot wherever you need it in that clear banner on top so you can set up all kind of funky layouts with all kind of button functionality up there going to all the areas of interest that you want to navigate people to online you know if you're doing a cool service on YouTube you can have your donate button sitting there follow on Twitter here's a couple of my websites I don't want to clog it up too much and put too much junk up there so I'm just gonna leave it with four buttons and uh, let's see I think that's everything oh no let me show you how you have to go to get this code that image map code which is the last little ingredient you'll need to make all of your handy dandy links go to where they need to go online and everything you go to file export wizard and then continue and instead of the web go to Dreamweaver press continue now exit and whatever you want the image to be since I'm not really worried about the image it doesn't matter I'm just gonna pick JPEG I'm gonna export and here I have this uh, folder set up on my computer called my channel image banner and I'm going to save it it says it already exists because I already did this and then uh, I'm just showing you how it's done and yours wouldn't exist yet so it would just save it there and so what I would do at YouTube well first I would go into Dreamweaver and I would open that go to that file on my computer find that folder called uh, my channel image banner open image code that file and there it is there's the hotspots and everything you go to code view and all you need is the map code so here you can grab the map tag where it opens and closes here it closes and you can see here it opens you grab the whole map you don't want the image really if you're setting it up the way I'm setting it up you don't need it press control C you go into YouTube and that's it right there and that image map code that's where you would place that it would be empty when you come to it and you just pop it right in with control V and then you save everything and then you'll have these nifty buttons that go to all your nice uh, 
web entities or areas that you want to take people online okay I hope that's helpful for some of you aspiring uh, YouTube partners out there I know a lot of you guys are making it in more and more by the day so this might be a handy little bit of knowledge for you that, right, that way right when you partner up you can go and start bling blinging doing cool stuff and uh, you can put as many buttons as you want in there you're not limited at all going to all kind of web destinations okay we'll see you next lesson